Auburn Corps Duesenberg Club, a not-for-profit organization dedicated to the authentic preservation, restoration, and enjoyment of three great automotive names, a club that honors and celebrates those wonderfully special motor cars produced by automotive industrialist E.L. Cord. Cars that have literally helped to define the familiar designation, classic car. Cars with styling that expresses an attitude, a feel, and an ambiance that transcends mere fads. Styling that exudes a youthful vigor, a freshness, a sportiness, and a class that seems never to grow old or stodgy. The Auburn Automobile Company, founded in 1900, derived its romantic name from its lovely home base city of Auburn, Indiana. The Auburn Automobile Company was destined to write one of the most colorful chapters in the annals of automotive history during the first 36 years of the new century. Auburns were fast, durable, economical, and stylish. Whether modestly priced sedans, stunningly beautiful open cars, or those fabulous boat tail speedsters. Auburns, in contemporary vernacular, screamed with motoring excitement, performance, and sportiness as they still do today. The awesome L29 Cord, the work of stylist Alan Leamy, proved that an American luxury automobile could combine tasteful traditional styling with a sporty low stance, and also feature E.L. Cord's powertrain dream, front wheel drive linked up to a powerful Lycoming straight eight engine. It was America's first front wheel drive production car. Some seven years later, renowned Cord stylist Gordon Burig wowed the New York Auto Show with his chic and sensuously contoured 810 Cord. Even today, the 810 and 812 Cords turn heads and send a rush of visual excitement, a wonderfully positive jolt to one's sensory perception. Yes, this might have been your father's car or your grandfather's car. And right now, you might be wishing that it could be your car. They were Iowa farm boys, born mechanical geniuses with racing performance their prize. They were Fred and Augie Duesenberg, whose work did not go unnoticed by entrepreneur industrialist E.L. Cord. Cord's purchase of Duesenberg combined the best of Fred and Augie Duesenberg's mechanical prowess with the marketing vision of Mr. Cord himself, who wanted to build the biggest, finest, most powerful and prestigious luxury motor car in the world. The ultimate result of this effort was the magnificent J. Duesenberg. The doozy attracted the rich and famous, the powerful and the bold, in spite of the depression during the early 1930s. It's not surprising that the mighty Duesenberg is today a highly sought after investment by the world's most discerning and discriminating automotive collectors. They honor it not only for the supreme quality and craftsmanship the doozy embodies and symbolizes, but they also celebrate the dream of building it, as well as the tremendous achievement which resulted from this venture. In 1952, Harry Denhard ran this ad in Motor Trend magazine. The purpose? To organize a club honoring these wonderful cars. To bring enthusiasts, whether owners or not, together. It was the very first step in organizing what is now the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club. Today, there are Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club members in 50 states and 21 foreign countries. Additionally, there is a regional group in Australia and now a junior membership category for tomorrow's ACD Club. The Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club efficiently administers three outstanding judging meets each calendar year. The Eastern Spring Meet, the West Coast Meet, and the annual Auburn Reunion in the fall. Additionally, numerous other fun meets, as they're often called, are held around the country each year. annual Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club Reunion. It's the centerpiece of the ACD Festival, always the week preceding Labor Day. It's simply one of the best known, 
best attended, most anticipated, most recognized vintage car events in the world. No automobile club anywhere offers such a rare, unique opportunity as does the Auburn Court Duesenberg Club by holding its reunion back home in Indiana, back home where these thoroughbred motor cars were designed and built. starts with the club's annual Hoosier tour. The final destination? A completely blocked off street in front of and adjacent to the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum, the magnificently restored factory showroom of the Auburn Automobile Company. On this special day each year, club members can enjoy the festival press conference followed by a gourmet luncheon. Club members, honored guests, automotive enthusiasts from all over the world, journalists, and yes, tourists as well, all flood into the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum. The nearby Natmus Museum, also once part of E.L. Cord's factory complex, and the adjoining parking lot filled with Auburn Cord and Duesenberg automobiles. During this week, club members can view the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum exhibits. Trace the city of Auburn's rich automotive history. Enjoy a museum gala night. Do research in the professionally maintained archives and just maybe actually visit with a former employee of the Auburn Automobile Company. Eckhart Park, named after Charles Eckhart, a local philanthropist and owner of the Eckhart Carriage Company, is the annual site of a Saturday morning spectacular, Judging. This greatly anticipated event is a forum where ACD club members can have their cars judged based on original preservation condition or on the authenticity and quality of their restoration. The results of this prestigious judging event are noticed and respected by automobile aficionados the world over. Following judging, the grand parade of classics proves itself each year to be a huge crowd pleaser. It makes its debut onto the lovely DeKalb County Courthouse Square, heralded by a concert band, an honor guard, a drill team, a marching band, dignitaries, celebrities from stage and screen, followed by some of the most beautiful cars imaginable. Each year, the Parade of Classics reaffirms Auburn, Indiana's justly earned claim to the title, the classic car capital of the world. During the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club reunion at festival time, Club members enjoy special privileges and reserved parking at the world-renowned Cruise Auction Park, where thousands of collector cars of all makes change hands. A huge barbecue, an outstanding quilt show, decorator homes tour, a mammoth craft show, which fills the entire courthouse square, and many other festival attractions make this reunion even more enjoyable. A lovely evening social event for Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club members is the annual steak fry. It's an unbeatable combination. Beautiful Auburns, Cords and Duesenbergs, delicious food, a terrific setting and great friendships. But when the sun finally sets, this crowd will join an even bigger crowd already assembled just a few blocks away on the southwest corner of the courthouse square. It's been dubbed the Ninth Street Gang, and it's likely the most wonderful and unique happening in any vintage car club anywhere. It's a delightfully informal social gathering of Auburn Cord and Duesenberg cars and club members, many of whom have rejected modern lodging for the opportunity to stay in the old, unrestored Auburn Hotel. Good. 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 Good.
What's I doing? Hi, Just okay. got in the town, man. My room's not ready. Well, you and a hundred others, but we got a roll away for you. We'll put you in center hall tonight. Okay, that'll work. Okay. Out. Thanks. It's not rowdy, but from curb to curb, the 9th Street Gang is about the most fun imaginable on at least three summer evenings each year during the ACD Festival at the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club Reunion. An outstanding newsletter, wonderful networking and expert hands-on technical support from fellow members, a meticulously administered and maintained certification program, and the priceless friendships that are part of this organization are yet a few more reasons why those who have become a part of the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club treasure their affiliation. The Auburn Cord Duesenberg Club. It's a very special family-oriented motor club for those who have never relished the commonplace. <laughs>